Hey adventurers! So overwhelmingly in my little questionnaire I put out, people said comms. They want to know about comms. What comms do I use? Especially when I said, oh, I'm sick of paying Cena and Cardo prices. They're re absolutely insane prices for a little circuit board <laughs> and some Bluetooth chips. Um, they just seem crazy. Uh, and yeah, I know they, you know, they come up with this technology and they're going to make a profit. Great. However, I just, I'm never happy with comms and I don't want to pay those, those massive prices. So here on the table, uh, you can see the, the usual setup. This is the Cena uh, base. Obviously I've got a couple of them because I have the 20S and the 30K. Um, so the 20S, you know, I had, well, actually, originally I had the Cardo G9. Is this the G9X? No, just the G9. And, and its base here, which is, you know, large. Uh, and then the, the unit itself clicks into that. Um, and the G9, uh, I don't know, yeah, it was, it was okay, but it was, yeah, a bit fidgety to connect and, uh, I don't know they've they've invented comms since these things. The old Bluetooth technology range was pretty poor. I, I can't even remember the details of it. So anyway, that's that's the G9. Then I got the uh, Cena because actually I think Tom gave me this Cena. He got uh, some Cena freebies. He got a, a pack of them, and um, he gave me one, and we used them and. You know, it was okay. Um, the range is nothing like what they claim, but uh, you know, yeah, it 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 worked. Um, I had some battery issues with it; it just didn't seem to last as long as. Uh, it, it, in fact, it was a bit up and down. Sometimes it would last, and then sometimes it wouldn't, and sometimes I I didn't know if it was charging or not. And anyway, they're a bit a little bit fidgety. Everyone that has used one knows. Um, then uh, Mark. Uh, found a couple of 30Ks online, which have got the mesh technology. Uh, and and someone was selling them you know, secondhand, but basically brand new. So I said, yeah, okay, I'll I'll pay that ridiculous, ooh, ridiculous amount of money. And we got the 30, the, the Cena 30Ks. Um, now the mesh is a funny thing like it's 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 great in theory but we just didn't use it we used it a couple of times the main reason is once you use mesh uh the battery drains way faster and you can't even get a full day out of it without so no without mesh running you can get like a day and a half out of the battery on the 30k and on the cena when it's working properly on the 20s sorry and uh, even the, the old G9, I remember, I think the battery would last at least you know, more than a full day. But once you turn that mesh on, mate, it kills it. And I think even the advertised time is, you know, five or six hours or something. So uh, it's sort of suddenly you don't want to use mesh. Uh, and then the other reason is often we're riding around in a group of two or three and mesh is not really required. You can just... You can just connect to each other and it works and, um, you know, yeah, the, 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 it doesn't do the drop in, drop out thing, but the range is, you know, just as good and it just seems more reliable. Um, the audio, I think, was even clearer, not on mesh, just on a direct, direct uh, connection. So anyway, we didn't really use the mesh and, you know, you're paying mega dollars for the, for the mesh. If you're riding around in a big group, I think you know, getting one with mesh is worth it. So yeah, let's let's just look at these units. Now I've got here the Cardo, um, the G9, the the 20S, the 30K, and now I've just tried this, <laughs> the Fod Sport M1S Pro. There is a new one, M1S Plus, but which has got. Um, uh, different USB, a couple of minor differences, some different software, I think. So there, have a look at the size of this thing. As you can see, it's significantly smaller than all the other units, you know, especially the 30K. You know, it's 
you can see it's significantly smaller. It's smaller than the, the 20S. And I'd say, actually, it's probably pretty similar to the old G9, right? Not very big. But it doesn't have a base. It just clicks in to the helmet. So I've installed, I've installed the helmet. Um, and here we are. We just have a wire poking out the back. I've got a clip at the moment instead of the um, stick on just because, you know, wasn't quite sure. <laughs> Uh, so this just clicks on there very easily and then you plug plug this into the back um, You make sure it's pushed in so it's a good seal and this thing's meant to be fairly waterproof um, And then yeah, it's it's on there. So yeah when you don't want to use it take it off whoop, unclick it and um, Yeah, you're left with a fairly small. I mean, I'm definitely gonna use the sticky mount. I think it's better um, Click that under the helmet and so yeah you can see me installing it here and uh, the wires are pretty cool they're like braided little braided cables and yeah I don't know it's just it's a good little good little unit <laughs> so yeah if we look at the stats so G9 uh, I don't know some old version of Bluetooth right Bluetooth 2 or something the 20s uh, that used Bluetooth 4.1 the 30K is where they moved up to Bluetooth 5, which is the current version of Bluetooth. And this is using Bluetooth 5. So it's using the latest version of Bluetooth. Um, battery sizes, I have no idea what's in the G9. The 20S has a 650 milliamp hour battery. The 30K has a, I think, 950 milliamp hour battery. The FOD Sport here has a 900 milliamp hour battery. So. It's a battery almost as big as, or pretty much the same size as the Cena 30K. Um, talk time on these, uh, we've got 13 hours on the centers, both the Cenas. Eight, it says eight hours on mesh. I'm telling you now, it's less than that. And this says 20 hours of talk time. So yet to be proven. I haven't used it for a, a continuous full day, uh, but I will be doing that soon. Um, you've also got your Cardo Pack Talk. That's a 13-hour uh, talk time, and it's a 800 and 850 milliamp hour battery on that as well. So very, they're very similar. Uh, then you, there's the Interphone. They have um, anyway, they're they they're good one. They have a mesh as well, which is interesting. I haven't used that, but yeah, and it uses Bluetooth five as well. And they say 10 to 15 hours of talk time. I have no idea how big. The battery and that is but they say they say it's good because they've got 10 to 15 hours of talk time um as far as the speakers go um all of them have 40 mil speakers so that's pretty much a standard quality i'm sure varies a little bit um you know the scala old scala rider ones what uh, actually are they 40 millimeter the old g9 i'm not sure i think they might have been smaller um but all the scenes definitely use 40 mil. This FOD Sport uses 40 mil. The Interphone uses 40 mil. They mostly have, all the modern ones have quick charge. They're sort of the 20S, two and a half hour charge time. 30K is one and a half hour charge time. The FOD Sport says three hours uh, charge time. Uh, they can also all be used. These can all be used um, whilst charging. So then you get to the range of them. Uh, Cardo says two kilometers. I, I don't know where they get these numbers. We all know that that's bullshit. I'm pretty sure the, the Cardo said um, said two kilometers as well, but the Cenas say two kilometers. Um, and it's just not realistic. So the, the FOD Sport says, advertises 500 meters effective range. Uh, oh, and the Interphone says a kilometer. It says more than a kilometer. We're gonna we're gonna test this and and see. In fact, I've already done the test, so I can tell you now. Five hundred meters is their their good range. Um, it's it's a realistic number. I can tell you now that the the scene is that five hundred meters is probably about right, and I think five hundred meters is about right, not two kilometers. But I think um, that's probably comes down to you know Bluetooth five. 
gives you five, six, seven hundred meters range. Um, so the FOD sport, they say 500 meters, and we actually got this to work in straight line, line of sight in suburbia. We got it to work at eight, eight or 900 meters. So I, I'm happy with that. That's as good as any of these other units for sure. So then you come down to the price, right? I can't remember how much this Cardo cost me. It was a lot. The new Cardo, the Pack Talk, is uh, how much did I write down? The Pack Talk five five hundred and seventy nine dollars for a single unit, mate. That that is a lot of money. Um, the twenty S about three hundred and thirty dollars if you can even get them anymore. They, you know, it's an outdated model. 330 this is all in australian dollars right so yes you foreigners are going to say oh they're much cheaper than that yeah but by the time you convert it to australian dollars it's worth this much so 330 something dollars the um 30k is 440 dollars now i think on ebay or somewhere you know you can get them a little bit cheaper but you're talking you know over 400 dollars the interphone someone said uh interphone um is pretty good i'm sure it's as good as these others they're five hundred dollars Australian, three hundred thirty euros. Um, yeah, five hundred dollars in Australia. Oh, I think it was more than that, five hundred and sixty or something. I saw it advertised for. So, yeah, they're just as expensive. Um, Fod Sport, eighty eighty bucks. <laughs> we got the Twin Pack for one hundred and sixty, one hundred and seventy dollars. Right for two of them. So they're about $80, 80 and $90 each. Now, if you if you dump yourself in a river, I mean, this is meant to be waterproof too, except they're, they're never, these things are not waterproof. They say they're waterproof. Yes, they've got a bit of a seal around, but you've got these little rubber, these little rubber grommets, right, which let in, uh, will let in water there. And then you've got the base unit, which is not waterproof, especially once you take the take the unit off the top. They're not waterproof. Water can get in through these grommets. And there's a circuit board in there. And I think I'll talk about that in a minute, but mine died. Um, the FOD Sport, same sort of thing. It's got a plug in the back. The plug is fairly tight fitting around there. Uh, and there is a couple of grommets on the bottom for the charging port. But they're pointing... They're pointing down, right? It's not a not a bad place to put them. Um, even the one on the back is sort of facing down and on an angle. So anyway, they say it's whatever, IP67? IP67. But whether it really is, I don't know. Anyway, they're reasonably water resistant, right? They're water resistant, not waterproof. Um, so... Where was I going with that? So it's waterproof. It has all the functions. It doesn't have mesh, which I've just discussed. I don't really use anyway. I haven't been using. So for $89, yeah, you don't care if you dump your head in a river. If you smash this against a rock and it gets destroyed, uh, 80 bucks. You know, it's not the end of the world. It's not like one of these. I mean, so my 30K doesn't work anymore right? It got wet too many times and something shorted out. The microphone stopped working and I went, oh, I can hear people, but I can't talk to them. So I'm like, oh, the microphone's packed it in, right? So I replaced the microphone. I took it out and I put in uh, the one from my old 20S because they're exactly the same base. Put in the one from the 20S, no different, still didn't work. Plug the 20S back on. Yep, that works. I could talk. Plugged the 30K onto that same base, can't talk. So the circuit in here that drives a microphone is is dead. Uh, I, I swapped over everything, could not make it work. So, you know, $400, $500 gone. It's history. It's, 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 it's dead. Ugh. Um, bought it on eBay or secondhand. So... You know, I'm not seeing, I'm not even returning it. You know, it's, it's, it's gone. But 80 bucks, 80 bucks, I just buy another one. Buy another one. I could buy four or five of these before I'm anywhere near the price of one of these. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, 
I've got a video here of uh, going out and testing it um, with Ryan and yeah, we'll see how that goes. Yes, I'm going to record everything so I don't say anything incriminating. Yeah, that one, no, I must admit, I think that the sound is pretty clear. Yep. Um, so we'll have to put the center on afterwards. Yep. And really give it a test. I'm, I'm disappointed I put the 50S off because that's an insane sound. Yeah, right. But that's your only last 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, this is, this is pretty crystal clear. Ah. So. Okay. Okay, well, let's. Okay, so to disconnect, I press that front button once. And where? Oh, then my music started. Uh, pause. Um, and then I press it once. And we're connected again. Straight away. That connects really fast. That connects faster than the Cena. It does, yeah. Yeah. What if you get a phone call now? Well, that's, if, if I call you. Yeah, ring me. See if that cuts us off. I know it's going to ring in my ears as well. <laughs> yeah, so it should definitely cut us off. It'll either cut you off or me off. Oh, no, I'm still well, talking. Yeah, and I, my phone's ringing. In my, hel in my helmet. Yeah, mine too. So, I'll, oh, what happened? Nothing. Oh, we're, it, sorry, it answered. It answered, yeah. Oh, there's an auto answer feature, I read. Oh, that's right. I've got to, got to turn that off because that will be annoying as hell. Exactly, yeah, because you'll be vlogging and then all of a sudden your wife will ring. Yeah. To tell you to bring some milk, man. Oh, gotcha. Multiple audience. Yes. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you know, if you're riding around together within, within reception, what the hell is this? Wow. That is a weird person. No, a guy just pulled over. To, like, I was turning out of the driveway and he just stopped on the road and said, you go first. Okay, this way. Yeah, even a trail. yeah, okay, I'll go this way. So, yeah, the question is whether the trees make it go crackly. I mean, we're still in line of sight now. Well, yeah, I'm still pretty. I hear a slight crackle. Okay, yep, yep. I mean, I'm, I'm at the bottom of the park, so. Yeah, I'm on the fence right now, so. Yeah, so am I. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is crackly. Is that breaking up? Oh, well, I think that's. Can you still hear me? I think we just walk. <laughs> I'll walk back this way. But you actually came good after about 10 metres. Yeah. So. But it was crackly at whatever this is, 130 metres? Yep. Uh, 150. 100, 150 metres in the bush. You got, That's as good as any other unit, I reckon. Yeah, yep. For 90 bucks. Or less. Yeah, we're nice and high. Okay, you want to do it again? Yeah. Well, you, you, do you want to, oh, yeah, okay, I'll go and count the metres. Hang on. Okay, zero my trip metre, then it's real easy. We don't have to add up numbers. So you're just going to wait here? Yeah. I'll go and f behind this car. I might make it all the way to, there's a hundred meters. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty clear line of sight. Yeah, well it was when I was at the top of the hill, that's when it really did cut out. Well you were saying it was getting a bit crackly beforehand. Uh, okay, well that's 400 meters. Yep, that's f 500 metres. So that's where that's where they say it's okay too. Yeah, right. <laughs> 600. Yeah. Also, when you're out in the country, that's 700. When you're out in the country, it tends to be better anyway because there's no power lines and things. 
Yeah, if that's 800, that's 900. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, that's a kilometre now. Uh, okay, so 1.1 kilometres. Oh, it's all breaking up. Yeah, okay, that's gone. Oh, still there. You want me, you want me to keep going? I'm at 1.2. I can do a U-turn or I can keep going straight. Okay. Okay. Okay, well I'm about to cross Stud Road, so that's 1.3 kilometers. That's 1.4 kilometers. You can still hear each other? Oh, it's pretty bit ordinary. It's 1.5 kilometers. That's 1.6 kilometers. Uh, hasn't disconnected yet, I don't think. It's 1.7 kilometers. Okay, I'll turn around because I think you're gone. Yeah, definitely. Hello. No, I just pressed the button. I didn't wait for it to auto answer. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, did you hear the beep? Okay, I didn't hear the beep, but I I thought I could still hear you at, at 1.5, but it might have just been just crackles. <laughs> uh, run for your life. Oh, wrong lyrics. Anyway, uh, oh, turn that off, and there you go. So, that's it. I'm happy. How about you? Um, so, the other thing is, people do often ask me how uh, I get the audio in my helmet. Um, I can record the audio that's coming through here. And I've got a link in all my video descriptions of an old video of setting up the interior of the helmet. But effectively, I've got two microphones. Um, the, the Sony... I have the microphone cable coming out and going on under then splitting and I've got two microphones in um, in parallel, right? But a microphone is just like a resistor. So when you put two resistors in parallel, you halve the, the ohms, right? The resistance gets halved. Um, so you end up with just blown out audio. So you need to add a resistor, inline resistor. So you've got the two, two microphones, join, and then you add a resistor to bring the resistance back up to what one of those microphones was. So use a, use a ohm meter, get, get tricky, jot down some numbers, solder in, <laughs> solder in a resistor, and then you can have audio just like mine. Now, see, this is where my track says we're no longer on a track. Oh. But you're saying Google Maps says we're still good. Oh, uh, well, actually, now you mentioned that, oh. I looked down at my Google... <laughs> <laughs> I looked down at my Google Maps and it has... Uh, the road's gone. Oh. Where well, you can record your friends uh, very clearly. Um, yeah, so that's my audio... Uh, so my comms setup. Uh, I am still running the old uh, Baofeng GT3TP. Um, just good little radio, robust, cheap. Um, you know, again, doesn't matter if it gets smashed or stolen, uh, dropped on the side of the track. It's not the end of the world. Uh, I can talk to four drives. Now, I have used the Cena SR10. This is a, a connected device, so your your Bluetooth unit connects to this. Doesn't matter if it's Cena. It doesn't matter what brand. Bluetooth device connects to this, and then this this is the lead for the for the um, UHF. So that's that's connected, and then you can Bluetooth your phone to this, and your all, all your devices to this. And then it sends it out. But I never, never was happy with this. I, I found that I had to turn 
devices on in a particular order um, or I would just get very bad signals. Uh, things wouldn't come through. It was, it just never, never worked. Never worked how it should. Um, I, and I wasn't happy. So I basically used this one or two trips and then I put it in a box and I never pulled it out again. <laughs> uh, in fact, our last Simpson Crossing, you know, I just mounted this on the handlebar and turned the volume way up. And if someone started speaking, I'd see, I'd see the display light up and I'd hear something. So I'd slow down and I'd listen um, or I'd stop and I'd, yep, what's going on, you know? And that was good enough for me. Y you don't need a perfect setup. You just need a setup that mostly works. Uh, and then, of course, I've got my InReach, um, DeLorme InReach. Well, DeLorme is no longer. Now it's Garmin InReach. And in fact, uh, I had to get uh, the Australian um, Pivotel to release me from their, whatever, their software so that Garmin can bill me themselves. But actually, I was quite happy that costs haven't gone up too much for these. So you can still run these on a month by month. Uh, and yeah, I'll have that running on our next trip coming up soon. So yeah, that is my current setup. I hope, uh, hope you got some info out of that. Look, I, it's whatever setup I'm running is not for everyone. Um, I actually have notes about making a video at some point pointing out that whatever you get, you're never going to be happy, right? There's always something that you are. Oh, Maybe that would work better, and, and then there's something better than that, and something better than that. And ultimately, 10 items down the track, the item number five was actually better than that last one, and you end up going in this big loop. I find that the same with gear. I find it the same with helmets, cameras, audio, motorbikes, <laughs> right? Not saying I'm not... I'm not happy at the moment. At the moment, I'm very happy with my gear. I'm happy with my audio, depending how this goes on this trip. Um, I'm happy with my helmet, the uh, Nishua Carbon Enduro, which is effectively the Klim Krios, but cheap. I'm happy, I'm super happy with my bike. This will last me a long time. My last bike lasts me seven years. Look, some people go through bikes every year, not me. I, I'm, I set them up how I like, and I want this to last me uh, a long time. So, yeah, um, oh, my, my luggage at the moment, the Moscow Moto stuff. Look, I've gone through quite a few different vari versions of cheap luggage. Uh, and yes, you know, never quite happy with it. Even some cheap luggage that's not cheap. Anyway, this is expensive, and but it, it's, it's really good. I love it. Love the Moscow stuff. Yeah, so anyway, that's about it. Um, Hope you uh, got some sort of info out of it and uh, see you on the next video, which could be my high fender kit. Um, maybe next weekend, uh, maybe not, maybe the week after. I'll do something else uh, this weekend. I've got some <laughs> bike fitness, <laughs> getting fit for a trip. That's what I'm going to do next week. Then the week after will be my high fender. And at that point, that kit will be for sale. It It is working a treat and I'm super happy with all the stuff that uh, is happening there. So anyway, that'll do. I'm going to cut this thing off before I just keep rambling. Um, hope you got something out of it. I'll uh, see you guys next week. Please subscribe. Um, I'm actually, I'm going to go on a subscriber rampage, okay? I, I want my some numbers to get up um, because why? Because I, I want to promote my channel a bit more. I want to... Just, just catch up to those people that I, uh, you know, I gave shout outs to and then suddenly they've got twice as many subscribers as me. Why? Why is that? Um, <laughs> so, yeah, subscribe to me first and get your friends to subscribe. Um, thanks to those guys who bought um, stickers last week. Um, that's, that's awesome. I got a couple more dollars in the, in the bank account now. Ah, here's something. The Outex tubeless system. This bike is going to be tubeless within a fortnight. Okay? There's another one. Interested? Subscribe. And get your friends to subscribe. <laughs> okay. Catch you later. Bye.